there have been a few questions about this triangular waveform Fourier series. Now this is from uh, problem sheet three, it's question two. And we're given the Fourier series coefficient an. And some people are wondering where did this come from? H how did we arrive at that? So I'll quickly um, carry out the, uh, the integration to show you how, how this is the case. So to find the cosine term an, the expression is an equals 2 over t integral from minus t over 2 to t over 2 v of t times cosine n pi t dt. So to carry out the integration, we need to know what v of t is. We need to know what the period t is. And we need to know what omega naught is. So once we have those three things, we can carry out the integration. So t is the period, so that is t, and that's clearly 2, so we can replace t with 2. The frequency omega naught is 2 pi divided by the period, so that's 2 pi divided by 2, and that's simply pi. And v of t that expression depends on whether we're looking at this bit, the rising or the falling part. So this is a straight line. So V of t is simply, I can say V equals 2t plus 1 because it has a slope of 2 and it has a, a y-intercept of 1. And for this falling part, v equals minus 2t plus 1. And we simply um, replace that there. So now I can write my expression as such. I can say a n equals 2 over 2 is simply 1. So I'm integrating from minus t over 2. So that's minus 2 over 2. That's minus 1. 1. So I'm going to integrate twice from minus 1 to 0 with this part and then from 0 to 1 for this part. So from minus 1 to 0, 2t plus 1 cosine n pi t dt plus integration from 0 to 1 minus 2t plus 1 cosine n pi t dt. So we can open out the multiplication and we can use this result here, which is the result of integration by parts. We can get this from any standard integration table. Or you can do integration by parts. Let me just write that out. So that's from integration by parts. So in this case, a will be n pi. So that is my A. So now we can write A n as 1 over A squared. And there's a 2, so it becomes 2 over n pi squared times cosine ax, so n pi x, in this case x is t, plus the integral of cosine, 
which is simply sine n pi t divided by n pi. Ah, we still need this bit here. So let's move that there. So it's plus x over a, so that would be plus 2t over n pi sine n pi t. All of that is from minus 1 to 0. Plus the same again, but this time from um, 0 to 1, and we need to include this minus sign here. So let me just write that out. So it's, it'll be uh, minus 2 over n pi squared cosine n pi t minus 2 over n pi sine n pi t plus sine n pi t over n pi from 0 to 1. Now, let me just remind you that sine n pi is always 0, and cosine n pi is either minus 1 or 1, depending on whether n is even or odd. So if n is even, it's 1, and if n is odd, it's minus 1. So if we now simplify the fractions, all the signs will be 0. And the cosines will be either 1 or minus 1, so they actually add up. So it's 2 over n pi squared minus minus so plus 2 over n pi squared minus minus plus 2 over n pi squared and finally minus minus plus 2 over n pi squared. So that gives you 8 over n pi squared. This is for n odd. Okay, if n is even, you get 0. And the reason you'd get 0 is you would have a minus here and a minus here. And that's because of that, because cosine m pi is 1 for even values of n. So this is my final expression. This is what the question was actually asking you to find. So we can actually say that this expression can be rewritten as 4a over n pi squared for n um, odd. And that's what the question here was asking you to find. So that is your final answer for this clarification.